guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we got the Rogue Glide up here on the hoist over at Dave's house, Wheaties Performance. Uh, what we're doing today is we are actually converting it to chain drive. We are taking the stock belt off and I bought a kit from Trask. I bought the chain conversion kit from Trask. And today we're, uh, we're gonna remove the stock belt and the stock pulleys and put on the new Trask chain conversion kit. While we have all that tore apart, I actually went ahead and bought a lightweight swing arm from Brock's Performance as well. And I'll show you guys that here in just a second. I figured while we had everything tore apart, it was the time to do it. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got the Brock's Performance lightweight swing arm for the Rogue Glide. And uh, it's a really nice piece. So. I'll show you guys that here in just a second. But yeah, we're over here, we're getting the chain drive on today and also the swing arm. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step how-to video on the chain conversion kit, just because there's a bunch of videos already out there on it. Uh, but I will show you guys what kit I went with and the other parts that we got going into the motor as well while the primary's off. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what we're getting into today. All right guys, so as you can see, the primary is off the bike right now. And basically we got the belt off there. We got all the primary components off the bike. We got the clutch hub and everything off, compensator and all that. Now what we're getting ready to do is bust this nut off and we're gonna take the stock pulley off so that we can put the new sprocket on there for the chain kit. You really have to have a, a strong impact to get that nut off and we're gonna try to see if this Milwaukee impact's gonna take it off today. We got the outer primary off, the inner primary off and moving on back here, I'll show you guys the swing arm. This is the Brox Performance swing arm I went with. Really nice piece from Brox, really good quality. And uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, get the wheel mounted up in there and see how it looks. So yeah, there's the swing arm. Getting ready to take the stock pulley off right now and convert it over to chain drive, so stay tuned. All right guys, well, the Milwaukee broke it loose. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take the pulley off and then install the new sprocket. All right guys, so we went ahead and put the front sprocket on and put the chain on as well. I went with an EK chain, black and gold. Um, I think it looks really good on the bike. And then obviously the Trask rear sprocket. I didn't get much video of this just because we're in kind of a time crunch and uh, this was actually already on the bike before I picked the camera up. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys we went with the Trask chain conversion kit with the EK chain. And now we're um, putting the inner primary back on and we had to grind down a little bit of the case here because when we put it on, it was rubbing the chain like right in here. So we're gonna put it back on and see if we took enough off. If not, we're gonna have to keep shaving it down and uh, that way it'll clear the chain. All right guys, so we just got the inner primary back on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna disassemble the stock clutch that I have in the bike. As you guys can see, it's bone stock, I wasn't lying. And we're going to be replacing the stock basket with a new Trask basket. Now, I'll show you guys over here how fitting, it's gold. Um, you, it only comes one color, but obviously I'm happy that it's gold because it matches all the rest of my stuff, even though we're not even gonna see it. But anyway, as you can see here, Trask makes it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take all the clutch plates out of the stock basket now And then we have to drill out all these rivets on the back side of the clutch um, And then that's how you remove this and there's a new bearing and everything we got to put in there So um, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble that now and I'll show you guys what this looks like once we get it installed Alright guys, there you have it. The stock clutch basket is out and now it's time to assemble the new Trask.
All right guys, so while we have all this apart, I went ahead and got the Star Racing Billet Compensator for the Road Glide. As you can see, Star Racing. If you guys are making this much power in your bike, you definitely want a Billet Compensator because they say that these the stock ones break. Here's a picture of the stock one right here. Mine seems to be in good condition, but um, definitely wanted to upgrade it to the billet star racing one just because we have all this apart might as well right got the clutch all put back together we're getting ready to button everything up in the primary and also you want to make sure you get a new bolt for this as well because they are torqued to yield so we got the new bolt got the compensator and we're gonna button all this up All right, guys, so we got everything back together here and we're getting ready to torque the compensator bolt right now. Um, we're gonna torque it to 100 foot pounds and then to 175. So go ahead and do that now. Hundred seventy-five foot-pounds. All right, guys. So I also went ahead and bought the Trask power plate. What this is is a, just a billet piece with stiffer springs. I'm not sure how much stiffer these are than the heavy-duty springs I got from Fuel Moto, but we're gonna try them out. There's no specs on the spring rate, so I'm not sure. We're just gonna have to test them and feel which ones are stiffer. I'm obviously gonna run the stiffer springs, but get ready to throw that on to top off the clutch basket. And uh, man, it really makes me wanna have a see-through derby cover now, but just wait, I got something coming for that as well. All right guys, so we just got the primary all buttoned up. As you can see here, I went with the Santoro Fabworks bolt kit in gold. Looks killer on there. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It matches my gold powder coat on the lower rocker box. It's like perfect. You can see them up here as well. Uh, but anyway, shout out to Sean Watts at Watts Audio and Cycle for making me this derby cover. If you guys need any laser engraving done, make sure you guys hit him up. I'll put it up here on the screen. Um, he can do anything. Derby covers, timing covers, anything. But yeah, he put my YouTube logo on the derby cover. I think that looks sweet. What do you guys think? Comment down below. So as you guys can see, I went with the black chain with the gold in the middle uh, just to kind of set it off a little bit. Um, I was going to go with an all gold chain, but I feel like the black just sets it off perfect. All right, guys, we got everything buttoned up. We got the chain all tightened up. But yeah, really happy with how the Trask chain conversion kit turned out. We did have to trim a little bit of the inner primary, but that's no big deal. They literally told you how to do it in the directions. Um, it's a fairly simple bolt-on kit. Uh, you do have to have a chain breaker to put the master link on and clamp that down. Um, taking the obviously the primary and the inner primary off is not an easy job either. It's just time consuming. But we got it. Once again, shout out to Dave at Wheaties Performance for always hooking it up for me. Uh, we built a badass performance bagger and I can't wait to get on it and you know show you guys how she performs down in Daytona. One more week left and we'll be heading down to Daytona for bike week. If you guys are gonna be down there, make sure you guys hit me up. Follow me on Instagram at do work motorsports, all one word, and message me. Maybe we can meet up, do a little meet and greet. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to get down to Florida and uh, put some miles on the road glide. As you guys know, I live in Michigan and it's super cold right now and the, the roads are full of salt and snow and slush, so I can't go out and test ride the bike just yet. I will be taking its maiden voyage down in Daytona for bike week but that's gonna do it for today's video guys if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace